Y'all here, real sneaker vlogger, okay? It ain't just about the sneakers, it's about the lifestyle, B. What's going on, guys? HD Goods here. Just wanted to do a quick little intro that the whole vlog is going to be about. Uh, we're going to be covering just straight up sneaker culture. That's the lineups, like people actually in the field getting the shoes, lining up, camping out, unboxings, legit checks, getting the fake pairs right next to the real pairs, comparing them side by side so you guys don't get scammed. Gonna be just going over the whole culture, lifestyle that goes behind sneakers, and also just the hustle. The hustle that goes into sneakers. Also, you know, just entrepreneurial principles that will work for any industry, not just the sneakers. And then also, of course, the food, the fruit of our labor. Because of our hustle, we eat good, baby. So we're gonna be showing you the food as well. Just the whole lifestyle. Life, you're only as good as your team. So we had to bring in Dar, Disframe. What's good, check this shit out. Hey, you'll notice the editing got way better in the video. Just frame had to put me on game. What we got here is a uh, pair of LA Lakers exclusive Air Force One. You know, I had to buy them just because I was like, damn, these are crazy rare. Uh, surprised these didn't go for a lot of money. I mean, only 30 pairs in the whole world. So, I mean, it's pretty exclusive. But if you're a big LA fan or, you know, big into the Air Force Ones, these are a must cop. Got uh, Bape NMDs, two pairs of Pusha T's, Air Force One LA exclusives, and we got a Bluetooth speaker my friend left at my house. I love these guys. Post up our little station. Get everything. Quick major key alert. When you're shipping super expensive shoes, make sure to make the box look ultra raggedy and fucked up so they don't think there's anything special. Got the Bape NMDs. I'm shipping ultra expensive shoes. I try to make that shit look ultra. After like a fucking hour in the post office, we got all your shit set out. Got all the shoes shipped out. We sent out some uh, Pusha T EQT boost. Sent out a pair of Bape NMDs pair of uh, LA Lakers Air Force Ones. And then we also sent uh, my homie Spencer, he left his Bluetooth speaker at my house, so send him that too. But yeah, so now we're going to go get some food. We're gonna see what this place is looking like and uh, we'll be good. So I just got the food, I'm about to see what it's looking like. So yeah, first it comes with the miso soup and then we got a little poke bowl right here. And yeah, this thing's looking pretty good. Oh! Somebody, oh! He needs oh. some milk! About to dig in and see what it's talking about. In life, you gotta try your luck. That's how you win more often. I uh, went kind of hard last night, so slept in a little bit. Uh, about to head to finish line, pick up our first pairs. So we're gonna check those out, and then I'll probably slide by Chic Shoes uh, after I pick up my pairs on Market Street, because they always have leftover pairs. So we'll see what we can put together. But uh, yeah, about to head out right now. So it's good. All here in San Francisco, about to pull up to finish line right now. So we got the juice. Got the juice. So yeah, just scooch off the size seven. It's good. They got a first come first serve for the extra pairs. Looking pretty lit over here. <clears throat> so, uh, lines are pretty long. These extra pairs ain't no joke. Man, people said this shit was gonna sit on the shelf, man. They said these were just gonna go for retail, man. They tripping, bro. You played yourself. You know, don't fall for all the bullshit you read on the internet. So uh, now we at the next spot. Just left finish line, got the size seven. Now we about to pull up the Foot Locker, pick up the size seven and a half. Yeah, so it looks like they're checking all the sizes, which is real smart. Like bag talk. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. Yep, so this is how we apply pressure to the hustle. This is how we really hustle the shoes. We, she don't want to be in it, but we're going to do it anyway. So anyways, we won the raffle at finish line, and then easy way to hustle your pairs is just go through the line, see people who are waiting, and then when they realize they don't got them no more, get sell them to those customers. Easy sale every time. But yeah, boom, size seven right there. So I'm out here with Rosame. Just did a quick deal. Shout out to her. Another satisfied HD Goods customer. Hey, Yo, just make sure in life, you are never doing this shit right here, man. Do not be selling fake light up Yeezys, bro. Yeah, these shits are horrible, bro. Don't ever get caught wearing these. First things first, they come in this little sleeve. It's like around the exterior. It's an open top box. It's got the little purple thing right here. Four or five on the top. Look that up. It's just got the stars on the inside of this. So yeah, we open these up. It's got the usual 11, uh, you know, little insert. But it's way better quality, I think, than last ones. Uh, we open this up. It's 
got a lot of paper, different papers. Actually, he's got the four or five paper, which is kind of cool. And then uh, this is the shoe itself. Low peaks, um, pretty good quality. It's got the four or five on the back. Looking pretty good. Charmaine Jordan right there. Let's see if they did the plastic inserts this year. Yep, once again, they got the little purple plastic insert. That's cool. It's really good quality, it looks like, this year. So yeah, these are the these are the jams right here. Well, Don't welcome to the hood. And also notice on all the fake pairs, look at the pods very closely. That's how you can tell on fake pairs is the pods. Yeah, so I uh, just picked up the pair from Foot Locker while I was selling the size seven to that girl in finish line line. Call me over here, he asked if I had any more pairs. My man Gustavo, big sneaker seller as well. But uh, he asked if I had a 10 and a half. I had held one for a guy, but he flakes, so you flake, you lose, you know? So good business right here, my man Gustavo. Blue checks, we out here. So after a lot of cooking with the sneakers, you know, uh, went kind of hard last night, came, came and uh, had to get my body back right, so got some fun. This is the major key to success. You want to get your throat right, you want to get the feeling good, come get you some fun soup. Major key alert. Everybody got their top threes. My man had to bring out the Lance Bottoms though. Way fresher. Man, we were over at uh, Shoe Palace waiting in line for all the leftover pairs from the raffle. And, uh, you know, it was good. We were right in the front. We've been waiting for a while. And then they said only size eight and a half was left. So everybody dipped. Everybody came to Champs. At first, Champs was saying they were just going to... They said they weren't gonna have any leftover pairs or they weren't gonna sell the leftover pairs, but apparently they just switched that up. Now they said they're gonna do it at three. So everybody just dipped over here. So, you know, we, we like fourth, so we should be good. Little we'll line up going up the stairs. Should be able to get our pairs. After this, I got another low key spot I'm gonna go to. Got the lady pulling up right now. She wants a 10 and a half, so about to sell it to her. So yeah, I'm mean, here with my girl, Jamika. She about to drive the spaceships. It's lit, good business. I don't know if you want to look at them, you can look at them and do whatever yeah, you want to do. Check them out. Yep, I got the receipt. I got a receipt right here for you. Oh, okay. You, you know. know. I'm in there. In there, like swimwear. No I'm funny shit. Here. We're always pretty legit with our business. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> that's cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's about 12.15 over here on the West Coast right now day after the space jams dropped i had a size nine and a size eight left going to go meet this guy gustavo i'm about to go sell him my size eight in the space jams and then after that it's a wrap all pairs sold so that's how that's how we do the hustle so yeah we out here at zoomies just waiting for gustavo to get here he's not taking a quick lunch break it's a real hustle we come in here to make moves on that size nine so yeah just waiting for him right now we'll see you here in just a minute so yeah, good business. Messes with good business. My man Gustavo came back, <laughs> bounced back on him. He just took a lunch break to come buy this last size nine. My man literally bought every single size in the jams yesterday. So you can just say he sweeped the release. My man Gustavo, good business. Let's go.